Hi. So today we are going to start with the new chapter that is linear programming problem. Now in this, the today's topic will be in equations. We have heard about equations before. We have solved them as well. Now we will learn about in equations. Now before going on to in equations, let us look at this equation. x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 4 the whole square is equal to 36. Can you recall this equation? This equation represents a circle with center 2, 4 and radius 6. Okay, so this is an equation of circle in a center radius form. Now let us convert this equation into an inequation. You can see the change. The equal to sign has changed to the less than sign. Okay, so this is called as inequation. Now what exactly is the inequation? Now, if equation represents a shape, inequation represents the region or the area. Okay. Now, what is the region represented by this inequation? If the sign is less than or less than equal to, then this inequation represents the area which lies inside the circle. Okay. Similarly, if we have this equation x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 4 the whole square is greater than 36 then this inequation represents the area which lies outside the circle okay now there are two types of areas one is inside the circle one is outside the circle the area which is inside the circle is a finite region okay that has boundaries so we call it as bounded region or finite region whereas in the second inequation the area is infinite okay so that is called as unbounded region it does not have any boundaries okay so the concept of inequation is the inequation represents the region now luckily for you we don't have many shapes in this chapter we just have one shape that is a line okay no circle no parabola no ellipse just a straight line now let us see how to solve this inequation the inequation is 4x plus 5y is less than 20. Now we will first make it an equation because we need to plot that on the graph. I hope you remember standard 9th and 10th the way we have plotted a line. We used to make a table that contains x, y and the coordinates x, y. We will assume the values of x and calculate y and in the same way we will find out two or three points. We will plot them on the graph. We will do the same process today. We will take x equal to 0 substitute in the given equation we'll get y is equal to 4 if we take y is equal to 0 we will get x equal to 5 okay so once we get two points two points are enough to plot a line let's see how it is done uh, the point 0 4 on the y axis the point 5 0 on the x axis we have joined them okay now once we have done this, now we will look at our inequation that is 4x plus 5y is less than 20. Now the less than sign or less than equal to sign indicates the region which lie towards the origin. Okay, if you look at this line, the origin lies below it, right? The origin is below the line. So we need to shade the area which is below the line. That is the infinite area towards the origin okay now exactly the same way if the inequation is 4x plus 5y is greater than 20 then the greater than sign indicates the region which is away from the origin or the non-origin side okay now which is the non-origin side the origin lies below the line so the non-origin will be above the line so we will shade the area which is above the line so this is how you solve a linear inequation. It's easy, right? Now, we'll look at some more easy lines that does not require any calculations. So the inequation is x is greater than or equal to 2. The corresponding equation will be x equal to 2. Now, what is x equal to 2? A line which cuts the x-axis at 2 and it is parallel to y-axis. So this is the line. Now, as x is greater than 2, Hence, we need a region which is away from the origin. Now, the origin lies to the left hand side of the line. So, we have to shade the right hand side of the line. Okay. Exactly in the same way. We will look at another question. Y is greater than 0. The corresponding equation Y equal to 0. 
Now, what is y equal to 0? It's the equation of x axis itself. Now, this sign is again greater than. So, the region is away from the origin. But this time, the line itself passes through the origin. So, we have to look at the equation properly. y is greater than 0. Greater than 0 means positive. Now, where exactly y is positive? Is it above the x-axis or below the x-axis? It's above the x-axis, right? So we need to shade the region which is above the x-axis where the y-coordinates are positive. Now moving further, we'll take some difficult questions now. Now in this question, we have been given two inequations which you have to plot on the same graph. Now let us see how it is done. For a question which involves more than one inequation, we have to make a table that contains these four columns in equation, equation, points and region. The first in equation is your 2x minus 3y is less than equal to 6. We'll make it an equation by taking the equal to sign. Now we'll substitute x equal to 0, we'll get y is equal to minus 2. So we'll substitute y is equal to 0, we'll get x equal to 3. And the region, you can see it's a less than sign, so the region is towards the origin. In the same way, this second in equation, x plus y greater than or equal to 2, making it an equation x plus y equal to 2. If you take x equal to 0, we'll get y is equal to 2. If you take y is equal to 0, we'll get x equal to 2. This time, the sign is greater than or equal to. So the region is away from the origin. We'll plot those lines on the graph. So 0 minus 2 on the negative y axis, 3, 0 on the x-axis. We'll join them and we'll name the line as well. The next two points, 0, 2 on the y-axis, 2, 0 on the x-axis. We'll get the second line. Now we will see, for the first inequation, we need the region which is towards the origin. So for the first line, the region towards the origin is above it, right? The origin lies above the line. Hence, we have to shade that portion. And for the second line, we have to shade the region which is away from the origin. For the second line, the origin lies below it. But we need the region which is away from the origin. So, we need to shade the above region. Now, which is the region which is common to both the lines? That is this one. Okay. So, we needed the region which is above the first line, also above the second line. So, this is our common region which is required. Now, we'll make question even more complex now. The question states we have to find the graphical solution. Means we have to draw the graph of the feasible region. The inequations given are x is less than or equal to 2, x plus y less than or equal to 3, minus 2x plus y less than or equal to 1, x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. So, there are 5 inequations which are given. But in the table, we just need to draw three inequations. Okay. Now, the other two inequations which have been given are actually indications that our region lies in the first quadrant. X greater than 0 and Y greater than 0. X positive and Y positive. That lies in the first quadrant. So, we don't need to make the table for those two inequations. Okay. Now, let's start with our first inequation, x plus y less than or equal to 3, making it an equation, x plus y equal to 3. If we take y is equal to 0, we will get x equal to 3. If we take x equal to 0, we will get y is equal to 3. The region, as the sign is less than, the less than indicates towards the origin, so origin side. Exactly in the same way, we will we'll draw the table for other two lines as well. Now. Starting with our graph, the first line has two points, that is 3, 0, 0, minus 3. We'll plot them on the graph and join them. We'll get the first in equation. The next two points, that is minus half 0, that is on the negative x-axis, and 0, 1 on the y-axis. We'll join the points to get the second in equation. And the last in equation, x is less than or equal to 2. So the corresponding equation, x equal to 2. Line parallel to y-axis passing through to 0. Now, once you've got all the lines, now take a very careful look at which region we want. The region is towards the origin. Now, we know where the origin lies, where the x and the y-axis meet. 
so we need a region which is below all the lines because origin lie below all the lines and also the region should be in the first quadrant because of the last two in equations so we have to find the region which satisfy all the in equations and that should be this one now this is how you find the graphical solutions of the in equations